Well, let's talk about the Buccaneers. They're on the field today without Gerald McCoy. They released the veteran defensive lineman yesterday. They owed him $39 million over the next three years. They called the parting mutual. Bruce Arians did not want to say anything today about Gerald McCoy. Said the statement said it all. Okay, then. Now, on Instagram, this is how we at NFL Network announced the news yesterday. Quoted Ian Rappaport, he had the story, breaking news. Well, there were comments on the bottom of the Instagram post from Demarius Randall, Jarvis Landry, and Odell Beckham Jr. They seem to be suggesting Cleveland should be a destination. Now, a couple of those were deleted after the fact, Steve. White, why people delete Instagram comments, I have no idea. But as we try to find a new home for Gerald McCoy, Cleveland does make sense. And Andrew, you got to love it. All three of those players who chimed in, they came from different teams. So they know what it's like to be imported, so to speak, to Cleveland. So maybe that will have some sway. Look, there's been rumors out there for a while that even when the Buccaneers were trying to trade McCoy, that the Browns had interest. But at that number, they've already got so much money invested in that defensive line. That was too steep. But now that they might be able to get him at a reduced price, think about that. Miles Garrett, Olivier Vernon, Sheldon Richardson, Larry Okunjobi, and now possibly Gerald McCoy. That would be a ridiculous front up in Cleveland. They've already got a stacked team, but they're going to have some competition. We know the Patriots are one of the teams we've heard that could possibly be in on McCoy. And maybe at this point of his career, with all this losing, he wants to go to a team that could get him to the Super Bowl. Another team to look out for is the Los Angeles Chargers. Even though they drafted Jerry Tillery to play along Brandon Meebane at the defensive interior, they, they really shuffle around their defensive tackles in a lot of their pass rush situations. Gerald McCoy would be stalwart. And again, Bosa, Tillery, McCoy, Melvin Ingram. Oh, Patrick Mahomes, he could still be the MVP. But with those facing that front four, oh, my goodness, there's a lot of stuff that could happen. And Gerald McCoy, again, he's going to be a hot target. We'll see how quickly this gets done. But there will be competition for his services, Andrew. Absolutely interesting. Three years, $39 million left on that contract, and he is now a free agent.